2016 to 18, it's like the craziest time politically and socially that I've lived through. I'm writing something and I'm just essentially adding to it every time I get really angry. We need to make sign of the times. That was my real benchmark. Love It If We Made It is the gem of hope amongst all of the rubble. You know, I don't want to do a protest song, still be introspective, but um, not so much like my diary. Fucking in a car, shooting heroin, saying controversial things just for the hell of it. I was in a world where everything is designed to grab your attention within the attention economy. Selling melanin and then suffocate the black man start with misdemeanors and we'll make a business out of them. A prison system that preys on young black people in order to keep itself in business. And we can find out the information, access all the applications that are hardening positions based on miscommunication. We have the ability to connect and have all the information in the world. It's resulted in distrust and falsifying information. You have this kind of outrage-based Society gets out of control and that's where we are. Oh, fuck your feelings. It was like a rally shirt. Trump 2016, fuck your feelings. That he's just taken the mask off and been like, no one cares. Truth is only hearsay. We're just left to decay. Modernity has failed us. I don't know when we got into this kind of post-truth world where one could deny. I mean, the, the best example is like uh, the flat earthers. There's tangible physical evidence. What do you do when truth comes into question? I don't think that there's a lie that Donald Tr Trump could tell without his supporters, you know, doing the same thing that the religious do. I wouldn't get on a plane if somebody said, I'm gonna fly this plane just on my faith. I'd be like, well, I'm not gonna use it. And I'd love it if we made it. Yes, I'd love it if we made it. We have to just like really love each other. And if you don't, just try. Because it's like on a mechanistic level. Say like you don't want to die in a fire, right? You have to be nice then. Like you have to be, otherwise we're fucked. And poison me daddy, I got the Jones right through my bones. Ride it on a piece of stone. A beach of drowning three-year-olds. A young Syrian refugee called Alan Kurdi who died on the beach. He was like three years old. And there was a photo of it, obviously caused mass outcry and, uh, of, of compassion in the UK. And it's also a shame that it took that picture to do so. There were some awful things written in the kind of right-leaning media about it. Rest in peace, little peep. The poetry is in the streets. There's beauty out there. Poetry is in the streets. My favourite poets are Seamus Heaney, Arthur Rambo. The stuff that he wrote was so dense and revolutionary. Jesus save us. Modernity has failed us. I used to be an atheist. Now I'm like an atheist. It's not that I've kind of softened on any of the logic or anything, but I'm really, really understanding and quite sensitive of the culture of religion because culture is a d very different thing to scripture and dogma. I want salvation just as much as the next person. I envy the faithful. If there's anybody who got, actually got some good evidence on all this God shit, give it to me because now is the time I will eat it up. Tell me something I didn't know. We all know. We don't really do that much about it. I don't do enough about it. I've only just managed to like stop eating meat like all the time. Consultation, degradation, fossil fueling, masturbation, immigration, liberal kitsch, kneeling on a pitch. Kaepernick, peaceful protest and standing up for what one believes in. It's not anti-democratic, it was fucking awesome. And restrained, American, and constitutional, and all these words that you hear. I moved on her like a bitch. And that's a direct quote from the sitting president of the United States. Like, that's a weird reality. It's like when the radio plays your songs, they don't play swear words. I would have to be censored for literally quoting the leader of the free world. Excited to be indicted. It's like he doesn't care. If he got indicted, he'd just be able to play more golf. An unrequited house with seven pools. Thank you, Kanye, very cool. The Kanye thing really confuses me and kind of upsets me a little bit as such a massive, massive Kanye fan. The bizarre affiliations that he was making. The war has been incited, and guess what? You're all invited, and you're famous. Modernity has failed us. A nuclear war with North Korea nearly happened on Twitter. Like, can you imagine if we, we all do ourselves in because of Twitter?
but that's the thing. We are invited to that. We're invited to literally the the, the penis measuring measuring match between these two complete like a TV star and some kind of insane oligarch from a different planet. Like I said before, it's a fucking weird world. Weird time.